Several people are without a home tonight after a fire ripped through their Tampa apartments. Check out the view from Eagle 8 this afternoon above the Kansas Avenue apartment complex. Just incredible. News Channel 8's Nico Clemens is there now. And Nico, this was a very big fire. Jen, this fire kept growing and growing. I'll tell you, uh, for a few moments, smoke covered this entire street for, for a little while, or for a few moments, it was hard to breathe a little bit, definitely hard to see. Uh, but in the end, everyone who lives right here in this apartment, they lost everything. Fire crews are still out here, investigators trying to figure out what happened, but the people who live here, they're still trying to process it all. Everything, everything's, everything's gone. You can hear the emotion in Joe Lang's voice. I couldn't, I still haven't processed it yet. He was driving home from work Tuesday when he got a text. The fire department was at his apartment complex. And I was coming down Bayshore and I saw the smoke and I was like, oh my, oh man. He knew it was his building. Oh Lang watched as the fire destroyed everything inside. I lost birth certificate, every photo I've ever taken, you know, I lost everything. Oh man three computers. Several calls came in around 2.30. It took firefighters several hours to put the fire out. How it started, that's unclear, but fire officials believe it started on the roof. I mean, I like was weeping. Kara Milberg lives in the building next door. She was at work when she got a text. She rushed home, not sure if the fire would spread to her apartment. My cat is inside and uh, my neighbor's cat is also inside. Her cat was fine, but all she could do was watch too. She knew her neighbors' lives had just changed. I mean, it's home, and those are my neighbors. Those are, that's their home, and like, this is, you see it every day, you know, and all this stuff is been. So there are eight units here, five are uh, occupied, three are vacant. But the good news is you know, they lost everything, but the good news is nobody was hurt, nobody was injured. Red Cross was out here to help these tenants out. But again, Tampa Fire Rescue trying to figure out how this fire started. Live in Tampa, I'm Nico Clemens, 8 on your side.